let's review the main symbols in Agamemnon, the first of which is nets. Nets, snares, entrapment, and entanglement appear repeatedly as a nautical image, a fishing net, that evokes helplessness. Nets surround characters whose fates are inescapable and beyond their power to change, and cover characters soon to die or cities soon to be conquered. The net imagery comes to suggest death or fate itself is closing in on the characters. Clytemnestra claims to have staked a net around the dead body of Agamemnon. The chorus also claims Agamemnon lies in a spider's web of death. The watchdog is another symbol. The watchdog represents responsibility and waiting guardianship. A dog is a humble servant, protecting others at the expense of itself. But both watchdogs of the House of Atreus and City of Argos, Clytemnestra and Agamemnon, misuse responsibility to further their own agendas. The symbol of the watchdog surfaces in the watchman's character too, as he watches diligently for a signal fire from Troy early in the play. He acts as the protector of the house and the foreseer of good fortune or trouble. But Clytemnestra and Agamemnon, the other two watchdogs, are failing in their roles as protectors. The watchman, a palace servant, is aware of their limitations as rulers, and when he introduces Clytemnestra, he comments on her determined resolution of a man, a quality she demonstrates as she gains individual power. The purple carpet is another symbol. This purple carpet is referred to as red, a deep reddish purple, similar to the color of blood, and its symbolism is tied to the bloodshed in the house of Atreus and to evil acts that encourage death. Its color comes from dye in the sea, another force larger than humans themselves. Clytemnestra brags in episode three that the dye is as valuable as silver, symbolic of wealth. She is ignoring the chorus's many warnings against flaunting wealth, which leads to judgment and catastrophe. Blood is also a feature of human and animal sacrifice, a gift to the gods as well as an act to preserve the living. Clytemnestra, for instance, talks eerily of pouring Agamemnon's blood and libations to the gods. Birds are another notable symbol. Characters are often compared to birds and offer details about the character's personality, fate, and moral righteousness, or lack thereof. Cassandra is a helpless nightingale and a singing swan before her death. Clytemnestra, in her murder, is compared to the death-seeking raven. Heading to war, Agamemnon and Menelaus are two proud eagles. Menelaus and Agamemnon are also represented as birds whose nest has been robbed of Helen. The appearance of birds also serves as a sign from the gods. The two eagles, one white and one black, that fly by on the right side of the ship as Menelaus and Agamemnon depart for Troy are viewed as a favorable sign. When the eagles devour a pregnant hare, the sign remains favorable that the sons of Atreus will devour Troy.